China just shocked the world with what they're building. But the craziest part isn't the technology, it's the silence. While Western media argues about politics, scandals, and celebrity drama, China is quietly constructing a future that looks like it was ripped straight from a sci-fi movie. A future where cities think on their own, where robots replace entire industries, where machines don't just follow orders, they make decisions. And the scary truth? Almost nobody in the West is paying attention. Because what's happening in China right now isn't about smart cities, flying taxis, or futuristic cars. It's about something far bigger. China is building a robotic empire, a system powered by AI that learns, adapts, and never sleeps. And once you understand what they've already created, you'll realize something unsettling. The future isn't years away, it's happening right now. And China isn't catching up they're leading. Let me start with something small, something we all understand. Food delivery. Remember when ordering a pizza meant waiting 45 minutes, hoping it was still warm when it arrived? China looked at that and said, why are humans still doing this? So they rolled out delivery drones, not prototypes, not experiments. A full working network of autonomous drones that deliver food in 15 minutes, down to the exact minute. A company called Meituan has already completed over 300,000 drone deliveries. That's like delivering food to every person in a mid-sized city without a single driver. The drones fly on fixed air routes and drop orders into secure boxes. No delayed drivers, no traffic, no mistakes. And in rural areas, JD.com built drones so strong, they're nicknamed pickup trucks in the sky. These drones can carry up to 30 kilograms and connect remote villages that never had fast delivery in their lives. But if you think drones delivering noodles is crazy, wait until you hear what China is doing with cars. This year alone, 15 million new cars in China are being sold with self-driving technology. That means two out of every three new cars rolling out onto Chinese roads can drive themselves. And inside this wave, one car stands out, the GUA01 the first mass-market vehicle with a true AI brain. This isn't your typical self-driving car. This thing thinks. It listens. It talks to you. It has an AI companion named Simo. You can literally stand outside your car, say, Simo, come pick me up, and it will drive itself to you from nearly two kilometers away. The GUA01 is packed with dual NVIDIA computing chips, delivering over 500 trillion operations per second. It has 11 HD cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and five radars, more sensors than some military drones. It parks itself, it reads traffic lights, it avoids obstacles, and it can even make risky, unprotected left turns on busy city streets without flinching. And it's not alone. BYD's Yang Wang U8 SUV can spin 360 degrees in place like a tank. It can crab walk sideways into tight parking spots, it can steer all four wheels independently. And here's the part that sounds impossible. It can float. This SUV can drive into water up to five feet deep, lift itself, stay afloat, and actually move across water like a slow speed boat. Imagine a flood, and instead of being trapped, you simply float your way to safety. This isn't a concept car hidden in a museum. It's on sale right now. Then there's the IM Motors L6, which can slide sideways into a parking spot as if it's drifting in a video game and the BYD Z9 GT that can literally power slide into a perfect parallel park. China took parking, a boring task, and turned it into a performance show. And just when you think cars can't get any more insane, BYD drops the U9 supercar. 1,287 horsepower, zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.3 seconds. And with its active suspension system, it can jump, yes, an actual supercar that hops off the ground. It can bounce, tilt, lean, and even dance to music. A car dancing. And this is not a prototype. People are buying these. The craziest part? China is selling these high-tech machines for half the price of European supercars. A Ferrari might cost $500,000. The U9? Around $236,000. And while other countries argue about safety and regulations, China is testing robo-taxis in 19 cities with 16,000 test cars driving on 32,000 kilometers of mapped autonomous roads. And here's a number that explains everything. 85% of Chinese people say they trust self-driving cars. In the US, only 39% do. China is sprinting forward while others hesitate. 
But even the best electric cars are useless if they take too long to charge, right? China solved that too. BYD announced a new battery technology that can add 400 kilometers of driving range in just five minutes. That's as fast as taking a bathroom break. They built a one megawatt charging system, 1,000 times more powerful than a phone charger. And suddenly, it's officially faster to charge an electric car than to fill a gas tank. And cars aren't even China's fastest machines. They built trains that float. Using magnetic levitation, these trains glide without touching the ground. Recent tests showed China's maglev trains hitting 404 miles per hour in just seven seconds. That's faster than some airplanes at takeoff. And in ultra high speed trials, a prototype maglev train hit over 620 miles per hour, faster than commercial jets cruising in the sky. A trip from Beijing to Shanghai that once took 5.5 hours, it'll soon take 2.5. But what's powering all of this? AI. Not just in factories or offices, but in schools. Starting this year, every child in Beijing, some as young as six, must take AI classes. Millions of kids are learning machine intelligence before they've even mastered multiplication tables. Hundreds of schools are testing advanced AI education programs. China isn't just building machines, they're building the people who will build the next generation of machines. AI isn't just shaping their classrooms, it's building their roads. China recently constructed an entire highway using 100 autonomous haul trucks, massive machines that move 85 tons each and don't need a single human. They operate day and night, even in freezing temperatures. They also deployed robot fleets of road rollers and giant paving machines that build highways automatically. Robots building the roads that robots will drive on. Even airports in China feel like stepping into the future. At 62 airports, passengers check in, pass security, and board flights without touching an ID or ticket. Facial recognition handles everything. Cameras track each passenger in real time. Shanghai's airport processes travelers in 12 seconds. Beijing's airport has over 600 biometric checkpoints. No human contact, no lines, just walk. And the surveillance? China has over 200 million cameras. That's four times more than the entire United States. Their Skynet system doesn't just watch people. It analyzes behavior, tracks movements, and even predicts potential crimes before they happen. Police use AI-powered helmets that scan crowds for wanted suspects instantly. And payments? China already went beyond cards and phones. Millions of people now pay with their palms. Palm print payments scan the veins inside your hand. More secure than fingerprints, faster than tapping your phone. It's already in thousands of stores, universities, and train stations. But nothing shows China's ambition like its robots. The Unitree G1 humanoid robot is the size of a 10-year-old child, but can run, jump, balance, dance, do kung fu, and perform daily chores. It has 23 joints, moves like a human, and costs just $16,000, insanely cheap compared to other humanoid robots. Their robot dogs perform flips, run at high speeds, obey voice commands, and navigate with 360-degree sensors. They're already being used in sports events, police missions, and military tests. Then there are China's hyper-realistic androids, robots that look human, skin with pores, eyes that blink, faces that show emotion. X-Robots builds aesthetics of Einstein, Hawking, and others that talk, teach, and interact. They've built over 200 units and are scaling to over 500 per year. In museums, hotels, and government offices, you can walk up to someone who looks like a human and realize it's not. China even created robotic doctors, machines that draw blood with perfect accuracy, robots that deliver medications inside hospitals, surgeons who operate on patients thousands of kilometers away using robotic arms, and an AI doctor called Dr. Alfred, which can diagnose patients with over 90% accuracy. And the farms? China uses drones that carry 100 kilograms of seeds, sprayers, or fertilizer. Robots with 108 arms trim cotton at speeds humans can't match. Machines plant entire fields automatically. China is automating the most basic part of human life, food. This isn't one industry or one invention, it's everything, all at the same time, faster than anyone expected, and cheaper than anyone believed possible.
China isn't waiting for the future, they're building it, everywhere, all at once. The real question isn't how advanced China will be. The question is, when this technology spreads to the rest of the world, are we ready for it?